everybody, it's Alyssa with SongOfMyHeartStampers.com and I have a really fun card to make. It actually makes two cards at the same time, so it's very economical and quick, um, very efficient, and it only takes a few supplies, so let's learn how to make it today. Um, first off, you're going to need two card bases, and I'm using thick, very vanilla cardstock, and then you're going to need a four and a half inch square of pattern paper. I am using the Gilded Autumn papers. So pretty. And then an accent color of cardstock, which I'm using Pretty Peacock, and it's also four and a half inches square. And then one last little piece is a three inch square of your accent cardstock. Okay, so that's all you need to make two really pretty cards. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is get our trimmer out here and cut these squares in half diagonally. So we're um, cutting from point to point. So line up the points in the track of your paper trimmer and slice. Okay, so we're getting beautiful triangles. And do that to all three of your squares, the two large ones and the small three inch square. Okay, so that's all the cutting. Get the trimmer out of the way. And then here's our pieces for each of the cards. So we fold our card bases. You can score them in advance or just do it, eyeball it like I do. But make sure the crease is nice and sharp. Use your bone folder or the edge of a clean stamp block to make a nice um, sharp crease. And then we're going to take our two largest triangles, the, the plain one and the pattern one. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, my stamp block wasn't clean. Look at that. I got smudges on my card bases now. Hmm. We'll have to maybe jerry-rig this one so that it um, doesn't show. All right, so we're going to adhere the um, pattern paper to the solid color matching triangle, but we're going to do it leaving a little border to be showing. Okay, can you see that? How it's got a quarter inch border on these two sides. So we'll do that on this next one. A little overzealous with the seal there. Um, it sticks so much better than the um, Stampin' Snail did that I still put way too much on even after, you know, a couple months of working with it. Okay, so there's our two big triangles and we're going to put our card base. Let me see. Well, I think I can move this piece down far enough to cover up that smudge. So we'll continue, but I'll show you how it's supposed to go first. So we've got our piece with the mat, and you're gonna adhere the mat um, to the card. With the um, edge flush to the hinge side of the card. So the card opens like this, and the edge of our triangle is flush to the edge there. Then you're going to trim off the points that overhang at the bottom and the top. And there you go. Now I like to poke a little um, dimensional under there to give that some uh, texture popped up from the back of the card. So let me try this one here. Remember, this is so fast. We're making two cards in the space of one. I'm going to purposefully pull that one down so that I can cover up my smudges. Just so you know. You know, it might happen to you too. It always seems to happen to me, but it might happen to you. So you should know how to fix it, right? Okay. And dimensional. For a little pop-up. All right. And then we've got our last piece, which is the halves of the three-inch square. And 
I'm moving this one down to hide my smudge and leaving this one in the center like my original cards were. All right. Wasn't that fast? Just amazing. So I've used the uh, Oak Leaf stamp from Gilded Autumn, or Beautiful Autumn, I'm sorry, the stamp set is called Beautiful Autumn. The papers are called Gilded Autumn. And the Leaf Punch Pack. And I'm punching out cute little oak leaves. Isn't that sweet? Now at first glance, that punch pack is expensive, but if you look at it, you get three uh, medium-sized punches in one punch pack. So if you look at the bundle with the stamp set, yes, it is expensive, but you are um, saving 10% and you're getting three medium-sized punches. So you got to remember there's a lot of value there. Let's see. We can stamp now. Some people would say stamp before you. Um, and here the cardstock. That was probably wise. I'm going to put this one up here because I have less room down in the corner, thanks to my smudge. I like to live dangerously, so sometimes I stamp after I have the... Uh, where's my thread? Oh, there it is. Um, after I've already adhered things down. Okay. Then linen thread, double bow. And the easiest way to attach that is just the glue dot. And then tuck some little leaf punches. Mm, let me see. I'm gonna pop this one up on a mini glue dot. Or I'm sorry, a mini dimensional. So we have lots of dimension there. There we go. So that was what, five minutes maybe? And we made two beautiful fall cards. Um, let's see, my heart is grateful for you. And again, it's from the Beautiful Autumn stamp set. And quick little technique, um, just cutting the squares into diagonals. And that's it. One last leaf. And we're done. Oh, fun! Look at that. I have four cards made already today. I feel very thrifty. <laughs> this is funny. It's like one of these things is not like the others. Hmm. Oh, well. The person I send this to will have no idea that that's why this card is different, right? She won't even know that it's different. All right. I hope you enjoyed that trick. Thanks for watching.